Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Jacoby. Today I will be telling you my favorite NCAA D1 volleyball teams, my favorite players, and my favorite coaches. I actually thought this was a pretty interesting idea because everyone kind of has a different like style that they like or a different team they like. But let's get into the video. Before we do, make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video. I post every Sunday and Wednesday just because school is coming back you guys also speaking of school um i post i'm posting a bunch of vlogs back to school vlogs dorm vlogs college vlogs all that stuff is going to be on my vlog channel so make sure to go check that out if you are interested everything will be linked in the description first and foremost i love florida florida volleyball i just love them so much first of all their coach mary wise i've talked about her before on my channel she's the most like knowledgeable just like strong female role model that anyone can look up to so i freaking love her she's also a mastermind like her teams are like on it like all the time they are very like cohesive i would say like what they all dive the same they all pass the same it's really cool to watch so i really love mary wise and florida volleyball um i would say my favorite players on florida fair hall and this is just gonna be girls who are currently on the roster keep that in mind so one player I really like is Thayer Hall. Um, she's an outside hitter. She is so talented. Like, at some of the balls I've seen her hit, like, just on TV, I'm just like, how is that humanly possible? I don't know. She just hits great angles. She has great power and also great control. Um, she also plays um, all six rotations, so she never subs out. And she also hits just as strongly from the back row. So... Thumbs up, 10 out of 10, love her. <laughs> Next would be um, Allie Gregory. I think she just graduated actually, but she's their starting libero. Some balls that she has gotten up, once again, I'm just thinking like, how? Cause there's no human possible way I could ever do that. But just the way that she would just like throw her body at the ball and it would get up and like, it just blew my mind. I think that also kind of contributes to Mary Wise and how she coaches them because they all have really good hustle. Literally a ball that you would think would be down. They're all, all their DSs or whatever are literally running after the ball and are hitting the ground. And sometimes like, the ball gets up and I'm like, that's insane. So I really like Allie Gregory. They're starting libero, but she just graduated. But yeah. She's a great libero, great to watch. And also, I'm saying the players that I like because that could be someone that you could kind of key in on and watch and like kind of notice like what they're doing in this situation or like kind of their mannerisms or whatever because that can make you a better player. I think after that would be like Riley Fisher. Um, she's like a DS libero. She's just a really good defensive player. She's really scrappy, has great effort. Um, also, she played for like a club in Georgia that I know of, like A5. So I've seen her like at some club tournaments. So she's just really talented. She also has really good reaction time. That's something I really noticed about her. Just watching her play, I'm just like, how? Like that would have hit me in the face solidly. But moving on, um, my next favorite team would have to be Minnesota. I, <laughs> I love Minnesota. Like I think that's when I first really started getting interested in volleyball, or at least college volleyball. Um, Minnesota was like my team they could do no wrong for me and like when they lost like i was crushed minnesota is really great and um their coach is hugh mccutcheon i really admire him um he used to be affiliated with like team usa and all that so he's just a great great coach um he's won so many awards for that so like you honestly just google the coaches i'm talking about because they're all so decorated and they have a bunch of awards so yeah but hugh mccutcheon's a great coach now um let's talk about gopher players that i really 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 admire so first of all we have sarah wilhite if you don't know who that is i think her name is sarah parsons now i think she got married but um i really like her she's a great outside hitter and what really struck me with her was her patience with the ball like she wasn't just like so quick to just swing one way like she kind of like it's almost like she thought about it in the air and swung where she, like someone told her to and it was just really interesting to watch her patient. Next we have Samantha Seliger Swinson, one of the best setters I've ever seen in my life. That girl could get her hands on anything, it's ridiculous, and make a perfect set from anywhere and I'm like wow. And also I thought it was cool that she was taller, she was like 5, she's like 5'11", five 5'10", five so and she was a great blocker and she put all the way around and also I thought her, I thought her hair was pretty. <laughs> um, let's see, next, oh. We have um, Adonna Rollins. She's um, an outside hitter. She also plays all the way around. She's just, she's just good. Like she just, like she reminds me of me. Like not um, volleyball wise, but just like we kind of look a little bit similar. But like body wise and um, height wise, but she's just like a good utility player. And she's also like undersized. Like she's five ten, playing in the Big Ten conference. So like that's a 
pretty undersized um, height for that conference. So I really admire her and I really like her a lot. So, oh, and next we have like their starting libero, CC McGraw. Once again, an amazing libero, great defender. Um, she, she's, she gets her hands on anything. Moving on, we have, you guessed it, Stanford. Everyone loves Stanford, I know. Stanford is such a good, like, they're like one of those teams that are just like always like great. Like they have no flaws. Like they're deep, like their bench is deep. Like you, they could play their bench, like their B team and still beat people that are like ranked. That's how good they are. And as you know, I know a lot of people love Katherine Plummer. I also love her too. Just because like, I honestly have never seen a player like that. She's like, what, six, seven, six, six, something like that. And she moves like she's smaller and like shorter. And cause usually people who are taller, you know, they can't move as well or whatever, but she completely defies gravity. And she's like agile, she's strong, she's tall, she's fast, she's quick, she can play defense. Like she really blows my mind. So. Like, I know if I was hitting against a girl who was 6'7", which has happened, that has happened, and it did not go well. But, I know if I saw Captain Plummer, I'd just be like, you know guys, let's just go home. <laughs> let's just leave. Let's leave. Because she is just, like, that's just talent. That's just like God-given talent. So there's like nothing you can do about that. So if you don't know who Katherine Plummer is, please I suggest go watch a Stanford volleyball game and you will automatically know. Who she is because she will be the one getting all the kills and getting all the blocks and the ones that, the one that the announcer talks about all the time so yeah go watch a stanford game if you haven't already because literally it will change your life next on stanford i really like jenna gray that's their um setter she's just like really like cerebral like meeting like she's really smart with the ball so like sometimes like she'll like fake me out and I'm just like watching the television and I'm just like whoa I thought she was gonna step the outside she, and then she set backwards I'm like whoa like she's just really smart with the ball and she knows who to give it to at the right time so uh, that's something I admire about her and something that that's something that stuck out to me at least from just watching okay um next we have I like UCLA a lot UCLA is um they're an interesting team usually because usually there are a bunch of undersized girls that just like Hello? Sir. What are you doing? Just checking in. Okay, I'm recording. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, UCLA is usually a team full of like undersized girls that just ball out. Cal okay, like this is like a stereotype, like California girls are just so good. <laughs> like they're just so good. Because they're I mean sometimes they're usually smaller, like 5'10, but they can play defense, they can set. They can, they have hops for days. It's, and my theory is, is because they grew up playing beach volleyball because they're like on the coast or whatever in Southern California, like near Los Angeles, like Orange County, stuff like that. So my theory is, is that that transferred over to their indoor game. That's why they're so good. <laughs> and they're great defense, defensively blocking wise, hitting. But they're, I don't know, that's just a trend. I noticed that most of their hitters are like, undersized, but some of them are like obviously taller, obviously, because they're a Pac-12 team, but like and they're my favorite player on UCLA is Savvy Simo um if you don't know who that is once again please look her up she is so talented she is so talented and she's also a great beach player like when I oh my god like I literally watch UCLA reruns to this day just to watch Savvy because she's so good like some of the things she does I'm just like that's so smart like she's smart with the ball because she's undersized she's like 5'10 but she has like hops obviously but and she's also like sometimes they even play her as libero that's how good she is like defensively but she can also hit so i really suggest you go watch her i also love sarah sponsel um if you'd also if you don't know who that is please go look her up she's a great beach player she um currently plays on the avp tour she's like a professional beach player um i suggest go going and watching her she's a great setter um on the beach and indoor but she's really talented she's really cerebral and she also plays great defense but it also comes from sand volleyball i believe so all of them are just really well-rounded players and they know how to like basically like pick apart the other team and like hit shots that maybe the other team wouldn't think of because they play beach or something like that but yes well that's it for this video you guys i really hope you liked it if you did make sure to subscribe and like this video leave a comment of what you want to see next and also um leave down in the comments what is your favorite team and or your favorite players because i really want to know who everyone's going for i just want to i just want to know who everyone goes for or like who's everyone's favorite player or whatever so make sure to leave that down in the comments all right guys see you later bye